These extrusions have been waiting for weeks for me to get to them. But I now have Fairy Castle and I want to make some little mini bite size affordable fairy houses that mimic the castle. So that when somebody comes to the booth and sees this giant wonderful fairy castle, there will be actually something that they can afford to buy. <laughs> This is what we have so far, and it needs a lot of cleaning up. And on the castle, I painted slip onto the, the turret roofs. Um, but on this one, I thought, well, I think I'll just use white clay, uh, cause I kind of intended to do that on the castle anyway. And, got all kinds of caught up in the action and forgot. My wheel is all got brown clay all over it. And I could clean that off or I could attempt to hand build these suckers. This is kind of stiff. It would probably be way better to throw it. It will probably be way better to throw it. I should probably throw it. So I called Trinity Ceramics because this is the first attempt that I've ever made at putting two different clay bodies together on one piece in this manner. They told me that these two clays specifically have a very similar makeup, so it shouldn't be a problem as long as I got it slipped and scored together nicely. Beyond that, it was just a manner of the slip from one clay smearing all over and muddying up the other clay. But that really wasn't nearly as much of an issue as I thought it would be. They did play together quite nicely. <laughs> I love him! He's so adorable. I'm gonna add some leaves and some some vineys and some swirly do's next. Maybe a door. I don't know. We'll have to see. Ladybug, you're a cutie. I think we might need some viney thingies. Oh, viney thingies? Oh, yes. I need some viney thingies. <laughs> Look! Isn't it great? Oh, I just love it. Ladybug! Got another ladybug on top. I love you, little fairy. 
uh, Tim came in yesterday and I said, look at what I made. And um, he said, oh my gosh, I don't think you'll be making the other fairy houses anymore. I said, oh really, why not? He goes, cause that looks magical. And I kind of have to agree. <laughs> This old guy got a little dry because um, I've kind of been all over the place lately. Um, but I got some of these reusable paper towels. I don't know what they're called, but they use them in restaurants a lot. Get them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, but he got a little dry. And instead of using a paper paper towel, I used that. And honestly, it was it's been it's been fantastic because the paper paper towels sometimes will stick to the pot, and then they won't come off. It's like it just turns that top layer into paper clay, which that's no fun. I was in the middle of a throwing video and I went inside to make some coleslaw and I cut the end of my finger off again uh, this time with a knife instead of a table saw though so <laughs> we're making progress in some strange way <gasps> Looks like you have a little crack. We don't like that. That is going to have to be remedied. The little castle fairy house number two. He has double doors. <laughs> You're a sweet little guy. Yes, you are. If I could keep my fingernails out of you, I'm gonna have to cut my fingernails. This, this one won't need cutting. <laughs> Crying about it doesn't help. All you can do is laugh. This little Play-Doh extruder is one of my favorite tools. It is the fastest, best, easiest way to make these little coils. So go pick one up. There's a link in the description, but this one cost me about five bucks. So if you see one for 20, yeah, keep looking. <laughs> Yay! That's the front. And then he's got some flowers and some bee friends. And some more flowers. And back to the front. <laughs> I love him. This is 
Trinity's White Stoneware, this Bee Mix, and this is Trinity's Spectacular. I'm hoping uh, to test all of that out as far as shrinkage rates are concerned. So they should play nicely together. Agate wear played nicely together, so these should have no problems playing nicely together this way either. Um, as long as I got it stuck on there good. Which is kind of hard to do with something this small. Not gonna lie. You're so cute. I already started painting the other one. Let's, let's get it. Very excited about those ladybugs. Because, I mean, yes. <laughs> I thought about putting a door on this one, but it just didn't, it didn't want a door. It wanted to be very Rapunzel-esque. This is all of the white stoneware, white stoneware, white stoneware, white stoneware. And then this one I did B-mix on the bottom because honestly, it was convenient. Right now I have too many clays out and I'm getting them mixed up. <laughs> As you will see in the next video, which was supposed to be this video, but it's not this video because Harper's girlfriend got hurt. So, <laughs> Urgh. she's not gonna be thrown for a while. <laughs> I love them. Supposed to get the gras out of the inside of these things. Wow, that took a long time. And honestly, I don't even know if I have any white somewhere left. All of my clays. Oh yeah, there's some over there. Herbert. So how did Herbert happen? I know you want to know. So here it is. Ah, uh, we have a table saw. We have done um, several, you know, home improvement projects with that table saw, I was working on a chest of drawers that now sits in my bathroom. It was the very last cut. I had been doing some channeling, which you take the guard off for. And so I had taken off the guard and I was like, it's the last cut. It'll be fine. I don't need a guard for the last cut. And I used a push block to push the wood up against the spacer. I picked up my hand with this, with the push block in it so that I could follow through with the next board. And as I, I as I picked it up, I drifted across over the blade and it ripped the block out of my hands turn my fingers into the blade and filleted these two fingers and took the bone out of this one. Humpty Dumpty could not be put back together again. Uh, but this one seemed pretty fine um, until we took the bandages off after the initial surgery and all the skin on the top had died. So I needed a skin graft. So they cut a flat of skin out from underneath my boob, lifted it, sewed me together, boob, finger, and left me there for three weeks. Okay, two days shy of three weeks. And then they cut me apart and I cannot move this joint. And I had to relearn how to throw. And I'm very, very grateful that I still have that whole finger because that does most of the heavy lifting while I am throwing. In the middle of all of that, I started drawing a little face on it. So I told my church counselor in an email that we were calling him Herbert. And he emailed me and he said, oh, have you introduced Herbert to Angie Philanti? I said, oh yes, they've been best friends ever since Andy, Angie had her boob job. 
And uh, since then, we have Herbert and Herbert's girlfriend. I call this one Herbert's girlfriend because, you know, the whole finger's still there. If the whole finger's there, then it's just a finger. To name it would be weird. <laughs> I'm a nutcase, in case you haven't noticed. But thanks for coming, everybody. Y'all have a great day. If that story's not enough to make you buy me a coffee, then you might as well hit the like button. Or check out callassimile.com for all of the fantastic things that Herbert and his girlfriend have been working on lately. Thanks for coming.